addiction, just because on XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant and Carl Pilkington. We're all here then. Oi oi. About far, five past one. Yeah. Got two hours to go. I imagine you've got all kinds of treats lined up, Ricky. Well, there's lots of things on the show. Great music, you know, Nirvana, Radiohead, The Darkness, to name but three. Can I play you something from Led Zeppelin, mate? Yeah, please do, and maybe some Neil Young. Oh. Um, now, coming up also on the show, we're continuing a thing we start. We've only got four weeks to go before maybe... We either give it all together or go away for a couple of months. Is it four months. weeks or three weeks now? Is it three weeks? I'm not oh, sure. I don't know. I think it's the 16th of August, isn't it? It'll end soon enough. <laughs> wow. Might be that. It'd be a shame to end it forever, but it's all up to Carl. So again, he's in a grumpy mood. We've tried to try and up his attitude, and it's, it's them. It's the listener that counts, Carl, not us. We may be feeling bad, but you, the listener, count. You come first, yeah? <laughs> okay, up, 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 yeah? Big. Big them up. Big up London. Big up you, the listener. Carl, leave yourself at home for a little while. Yeah? Um, we're gonna continue that thing we started last week. We were doing the list of the most hated people in Britain. And it's not us, it's the listener. So, we're, um, keep coming, yeah. uh, with those suggestions of people you just, uh, obviously, uh, you don't hate them. We don't want a list of mass murderers, dictators, and politicians. You can't have them, but, uh, Ooh, with- uh, mass murderers and politicians, what's the difference? Oh, good, good point. Oh, good point. Uh, satire. Satire, yeah. <laughs> no, po that, that's, we're, we're doing some jokes like that as well, aren't we? <laughs> satire like that. We're trying there, to get onto Radio 4. Trying to get on there, yeah. And, uh, there's any kind of amusing show that perhaps takes a sideways look at the week's news and yeah. the new, new people. Uh, if there are any Radio 4 producers who, uh, you know, been knocking around for about 12 years with the same old hacks and they're desperately trying to get on telly, they yeah. want to give us a call. We're not interested. No. No. We've got bigger fish to fry. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. yeah, so if people that you hate, um, minor celebrities, people yeah. on TV, pop stars you don't like, email in ricky.gervais at xfm.co.uk. And we're I'll tell you what, then we'll do like the Channel 4 do, then we'll give you the sort of list of the top ten at the end, and you can vote within that top ten. I'll tell you the ones out could in front wire, of- Sorry, could we wire up some kind of premium rate phone line so that we make a fortune? We can't it? afford it, but yeah. if when you email in, if you could also maybe, um, send us a lottery ticket, <laughs> yeah. then, you know, we make something yeah. out of this. The ones in the lead, I'll uh, no, do in no particular order, but these are the ones way out in front at the moment, is Chris Moyles, Robbie Williams, Chris Tarrant, Davina McCall. Interesting. I'm sort of surprised at, but yeah. I know that it's probably just I over she's just been on TV too much lately. Maybe yeah, that t-shirt annoys me, big mother. Sure. That, that annoys me. Um, we don't care. We don't care whether you're pregnant or not. <laughs> Loads of people <laughs> have children. Yeah. I don't care. Get on with it. Um, and, uh, Dominic Mohan. So, uh, there's the, there, I mean, but, Think of your own. There's a lot of people just coming up behind there, though. Graham Norton. He's yeah, just approaching from behind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's the sort of stuff! It's sort of like we've done satire, we've done it, we've done smart. I mean, he's, he's the king of the, uh, <laughs> double anyone... entendre. Well, he's the king of the single entendre, but we can double it up if you want. <laughs> if anyone- 104.9, <laughs> this is the sort of things we're available- go on. If any I'm the loving this, this is gonna be good. I'm loving what's coming next, what? If any of the producers of Carry On London are listening <laughs> and they need some new talent to write some smutty innuendo, I think we're your men. Yeah. Um, anyway. Carl, you better press the knob, right, <laughs> to start the record. Spunk. <laughs> Spunk. Ricky, I know you're a uh, Neil Young fan. Love him. You probably won't have this album. It has basically not been available for years. It's never been available on CD before. It was part of this kind of trilogy of albums he did that were very depressing, and uh, they've just been re-released. This is absolute dynamite. It's uh, on the beach. On the beach, yeah, and that's the opening track. Walk on, Neil Young. Brilliant on XFM one hundred four point nine. That's the sort of stuff you've had. Satire, you've had a little bit of politics. You've had. Uh, we said we said spunk, which is a bit naughty, isn't it? Which <laughs> exactly. is great. Cutting edge. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And you've had Neil Young and Jane's Addiction. So I can't think probably of quite anything else. I'd rather down like. with the kids and everything, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, pretty hip, pretty. Weird. Yeah. So, we'd, oh, do you know what else? <laughs> Which Tony Blair would just stop. <laughs> oh, doing what? Uh, yeah, doing stuff wrong. Good, that's good. Who else is there to have a go at? Um, oh, Peter Mandelson or someone? <laughs> no. No? No, he's good, isn't he? Cause is he? He's, he's good because he's gay, isn't he? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if he is. If he's not, then I'm sorry, but if he is, then well done. Brilliant. Good to, uh, all gay people good. Yeah. Um, any underprivileged people, you're all brilliant. But people who are overprivileged, oh. Do you know what I like? Go on. Foreigners. Yeah. All the mad shit they get up to. Oh, what is you it see it? on the news. It's yeah. just that interesting, isn't it? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm watching. Yeah. I'm going. What are you doing? Yeah, that what are you doing that, boy? It's oh, weird, isn't it? Killing and that. Yeah. So if you're listening and you're watching radio, and good stuff, and good stuff, and yeah, well, yeah, Euro Disney, that's good. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's the sort of satire and the way we can yeah. kind of tear apart 
popular culture and just get yeah. to the very nub bit. Um, well, can I just leave with this? My, do you know my favourite country? Africa. <laughs> it's brilliant. Not it's, strictly it's a country, huge. but it's huge. all the countries. Except the bad ones. Remember the bad ones? All the evil ones. Play yeah. record. Oh. Anyone at Radio 4 is listening. Yeah, we would like to get on some <laughs> kind of satire show, please. <laughs> Longview and further on XFM 104.9. Richard Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Yeah, yeah. The Holy Trinity. Yeah, going well at the moment. Not bad, going not well. bad. You were just talking about, um, foreigns. Love them. And I'll tell you something, I've been meaning to ask you this for a while, because I know you're a very well-informed man. You yeah, very political and sort of liberal and that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How does Chinese work? Well, the language. I can't figure it out. No one knows. <laughs> I can't figure it no out. No one knows. It's like, it's not like any other language. No, it's not. It's, it's not. You know. Either spoken or written down. Well, it's not written down, it's, it's... Well, when it's written down, it basically looks like, kind of, little children's drawings of those little paper houses that Chinese people live in. Well, that's <laughs> what it, it, it loads of, is, it's, it's, it's And it's little. loads of them, it's hundreds of them, from what I can make But, out. I mean, even French have a go, it's not, uh, even the French, um, like, write words, but they've got some they of the right letters, like and they're going, oh, hello, how are you? And it's exactly. sort of, they're trying to do the words, but yeah. there's just something wrong. I think it's, this, this is like a speech impediment, I think. Exactly. Yeah. Germans um, are similar. Yeah, Germans are like going, ah, how are you? And they're trying to do the they're words. Trying they're trying to speak just, English, but it's just Chinese. No like, effort. <laughs> it's just, for want of a better word, it's, it sounds, when I listen to Chinese, it sounds like gobbledygook. That is a dialect. I yeah, I that's can't. One, that's the, I think that's the main dialect. That, Mandarin, and orangutan. <laughs> I but I mean, I uh, uh, that. I can't, but seriously, I mean, I can't. Figure it out. I just, I, there's no, I've got no grasp of how, because it doesn't seem to relate to anything. Wait, I've there's ever not heard. real words because there are sentences. Like you know, we have a word. If we said, um, uh, a gentleman sits by the stream of fish. I've said it often. Yeah, we use all the different words to each one of those words, and so we've got a word for each of them. Yeah, yeah, they haven't. They've just got. I think it's like a triangle with a line through it. Right. So, right, which right, can right. get confusing because you yeah. know. Yeah. So the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. That's just. That's what, I think that's like a, I think that's like a little paper house with a feather on top. <laughs> right, right, um, right. But if we, if we got- Personally, this is what I'd love to do. I, I want to use the fact that we're on the radio to answer these questions possibly. Yeah, to tell me about other cultures. I would love to speak to a Chinese person. Yeah. A Chinaman. Well, or a Chinaman woman. A Chinaman woman, I thought it's fine. But I'd just like to speak to someone, ideally perhaps, you know, a professor of Chinese. Or someone who uh, works in a chip shop, but someone <laughs> who was actually born in Chinaland. <laughs> someone born in Chinaland. Someone born in Chinaland, a Chinaman or a Chinaman woman, just to talk us through exactly what that was go they're going on about. Exactly. <laughs> and it's not, it's just because I'm very ill-informed. I've only really seen, um, Chinese people in kung fu movies, <laughs> you know. So Chinatown. Chinatown, walking through Chinatown. Mm, as we've said before. Not really a town. Not really a town. More of a novelty street. More of a novelty street. A slippery yeah. novelty street. Exactly, yeah. So, uh. Because I remember watching Kung Fu a lot. They always used to speak. They always, they always speak very slowly, don't they? They do. They're very kind of mysterious. Yeah. Inscrutable. They, ne they never really set. They are, they are unscrutable. <laughs> you cannot screw a You Chinaman. cannot screw a Chinaman or a Chinaman. They are unscrutable. They are non scrutable. Yeah. If yeah. I was to go out in the street now and try and scroot a Chinaman. <laughs> You'd have no chance. <laughs> not because they you are inscrutable. Could not, you could not screw a Chinaman for love and the money. <laughs> they are anti scrutable. Yeah. Yeah. To um, I could possibly scrut a Chinese woman. <laughs> well, I don't, think, you, I don't think you'd have any luck. You've had no but luck. But anyway, if you are a Chinaman or a Chinaman woman, who can just tell us basically how it works. How would you teach us the basics of Chinese if you, if we were going to go to China and we wanted to interact? Where would we start? What would be the first words we would say? How would we say them? How would we write them? Please <laughs> help. This is going to run and run. <laughs> What's the number, Carl? Oh, eight, seven hundred, eight hundred, one, two, three, four. See, proper normal, normal talking there. Yeah. From Carl Pilkington. There's got to be one thing. You need A whole lot of love from Led Zeppelin Classic. On XFM 104.9, I'm Ricky Gervais, with me Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. We've not heard much from Carl uh, this week. We haven't had, uh, heard much from anyone who can speak Chinese for us either, so uh, we're not that one on the head. I don't, I don't think we'll be learning Chinese today, Steve. What annoys me is I'm gonna go out into the world still ignorant. I know, yeah. I, I, the only Chinese I learned was uh, from Benny Hill. <laughs> no, Benny Hill could speak fluent Chinese. Well, I, I, the only ones I know is, um, uh, you silly idiot is Siri. Area. <laughs> yes. And Bloody Foreigners is 
bloody foreigner. Yeah. That's all. I, I mean, that's, that's, I, it's just a matter of, it, 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 it get you by in Peking, but I mean, <laughs> you, you come in, you hit a dialect and you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> your worms meet. Sure. Um, sure. Carl, yeah, we haven't heard a lot about, about from you. We've, we've been going here, yeah, we've done a few features already. We've, oh, uh, yeah, talked yeah, about, yeah. um, different people, parts right? of the world, different parts of the world. Do you speak any languages? Uh, no, not really. Well, still struggling with English. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Learn a few words. I mean, literally. So, about yeah. 4,000, I think, now, he's got. I've had a lot of emails, actually. People saying, Carl, please don't leave. We don't want to see this show ending. Blah, 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 blah. And we've had what a couple exactly of calls is... bringing back um, Cheeky Freak of the Week. Mm -hmm. And do you know what Carl said? He said, a bloke on the phone, he said, oh, bring back Cheeky Freak of the Week. He went, we can't. Not allowed. I don't know. You know. And uh, he went, oh, go on. He went, well, no, I had a story today. A, a fella born with two dicks, but sure. I can't do it. Now, Carl, you cannot. Not do a feature about a fella born with two dicks. Well, we'll look if we need it. I mean, how much more have you got on the Chinese? <laughs> <laughs> We've done. We've done that. We've nailed Chinese. We've done it. That's done. That's put to bed. Fella with two dicks, please. No, we, we'll, we might get round to it later. But like I say, cheeky freak of the week. <laughs> sort of. We've put put that on on hold at the moment. Sure. Right. right. So. uh... What have we got? What, what, well, what are you what providing then today? Have you got a, a quiz for us? Uh, yeah, we've got what's the name if you want. We've got, uh. We've got what? Uh, what's the name? Uh, what's the name? No, don't is that know, a new one? Don't know. <laughs> yeah, what's <laughs> the name? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah well, what girl am I thinking yeah. of? Songs of Phrase. Songs of Phrase. We've got that coming up. Oh, right. uh, yeah. Monkey yeah. News? I monkey guess. News is safe, innit? Some monkey News, that goes mm -hmm. out. I told a bit of Monkey News. I did a photo shoot with the zoo this, um, week, and, uh, one of the people Trying in charge- Trying to make yourself look good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, they told me that they used to have an orangutan, right, but, uh, it escaped, it worked out, it lifted up a drain, got out the drains and got out up into the zoo. It actually did a wow. cold ex type escape, wow. right? And, uh, Carl goes, what happened? I said, well, they, they sort of, like, they surrounded it and sort of got it back anyway. Well, that's no good, though. I mean, it's not monkey news unless it steals a car and goes to Spain. <laughs> exactly, yeah, or opens a small I mean, bistro. that's real. That actually happened. Yeah. <laughs> but it, it's not real unless it, you know, takes a gun, gets uh, mistaken from a president, and, yeah. uh, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> runs a country for three years. <laughs> <laughs> there was some, there was some more news about London Zoo this week about it, uh, they're all excited cause we've got, a uh, got an anteater in there. Right. This week, so. Is that good? Is that exciting? No, I think they've had a, an Akapi born. It's got a long nose, it's like a sort of tapir type thing. It's not interested. Have I said to you before about if, uh, if an animal's named after what it eats, how interesting is it? <laughs> 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 Do you know what I mean? But an anteater is the only one, isn't it? Uh, well, get rid of them. You know no, there's, lot, there's lots in there. What other ones are there? Well, there's flycatchers. There's there's lots of animals that are named after what they eat. What's there? a flycatcher? That's a bird, isn't it? Hmm. Seems ill-informed. I can't um, think of many beyond anteater. You're talking about, uh, cause you're talking about the zoo though, and I, watched, I was watching the news last night and it had, um, a feature about Madame Two Swords. Oh, they yeah. were saying that they, they scrapped many of the royal family. Now, I don't mean this, but I've never understood the appeal of Madame Two Swords. I just genuinely, with no irony, cannot see the appeal of sort of having my photo taken next to a waxwork of J-Lo. I know. I, I, I can't compute why that would be fun. I don't know. What is it? Do they move? Because they don't move, do they? No, they of just course stand they don't. there. I know. So genuinely, I mean, it's so crowds of people queuing up and people queuing the, up to the, have the photo taken with the rules. And the, I don't, the queue it would put me off immediately. Well, yeah. I mean, it's just down the road, isn't but it? But so you go home to your friend and go, there's me, I, I, there's me with Kylie. Yeah, it's me not Kylie, is it? Don't, uh, oh, no, it's just funny. a wax effigy. Oh, I thought yeah. you met her. No, 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 it's just a waxwork. Right. It's not even the real person. It, it, I, if you've been to Madam Two Swords, if you have any understanding of why the appeal there, email oh, and no, tell them. Let's not diss them, because they might melt down, um, Ricky Tomlinson one day to do me. <laughs> sure, yeah. You never know, you yeah. know. Uh, or Rick Waller. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to put them off. But seriously, I mean, I don't, I'm not being- You know, Roy Kinnear might be in there. What is mate. the appeal? Genuinely, what is the appeal? To walk around a number of- like, But that's the same as lookalikes. When I see it at the back of the stage and it's got like, um, uh, uh, I don't know, Susan Gooding is Caprice. Yeah. And you want to go, what, what do you do with her? Oh, five hundred quid, she comes and stands at your party. Yeah. And people go, uh, she looks a bit like Caprice. Yeah, don't go too close. She yeah. does, yeah. It's like Caprice over there. No, but it's... <laughs> it looks like... Yeah. There was one in the back of the stage which was, so-and-so is Jordan. 
and it was a woman who was a buxom girl wearing very little. I buxom! Thought, <laughs> <laughs> Are you from the West Country? I am. <laughs> but I thought to myself, if you're willing to get your knocks out pretending to be Jordan, <laughs> just get them out and become a pastry model. <laughs> Stop pretending to be Jordan. And call yourself after another Middle Eastern country. Yeah. Don't just, yeah, yeah don't just- very odd. I know. God. Very strange. But you've got a lookalike now, haven't you? Yeah. It's but so it's, odd. But it's a bloke, right, um, <laughs> sort of at his desk, right? In the picture. Uh, in the picture, and it's, it's David Brent. Yeah. And it's got Ricky Gervais. Yeah. <laughs> so- Wait, I don't remember it's just an old fat bloke with a beard. Alright, don't have a go. Alright. Play a record, Carl. I'll leave for that. Radiohead, there, and go to sleep on XFM 104.9. Don't go to sleep, we've got some <laughs> more fun and great tunes coming up. <laughs> All right? Uh, just to let you know that uh, we've had a few new entrants on the listeners' hate poll. I just noticed Chris Evans is cropping up. Chris Evans has snuck in a couple of times. Um, we've also had Jordan added to the list. Along with uh, Mick Hucknall. I think that's because pe you reminded I people. I know, I know. I mentioned her and. Yeah. Yeah. Consequently. Come on. Yeah, she's on think. List. Mick Hucknall. And also, this is one I'm, I'm strongly behind Daniel Beddingfield. If you've yeah, ever but heard I can't him interviewed. Oh, if you've heard him interviewed, he's such a knob. Is he? He really is a bit of Don't get it. involved. We see the good about this is we don't get involved. Yeah, this true, is true. not. Does not reflect necessarily reflect our opinions. That, there true. are a people, a couple of people that are cropping up that I'm right behind, but I'm not going to give that away. So don't don't give your opinions, Steve, because okay. then we're then our hands Do are you know clean. Who I love? Who? Daniel Beddingfield. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. Do you know I think he's a comedy genius? Chris Miles. But let's move on. Let's not. <laughs> so anyway, listen. We'll uh, we'll be giving the top ten of you, the listeners, votes. Uh, probably about two o'clock, and then from that list, we if can, if we remember, if we remember, if Carl that, doesn't lose the list, yeah. Yeah. And, uh, from that list we'll probably try and draw up the top three, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so quiz time. I know everyone's been looking forward to this. Which quiz is well, it Well, we're gonna play along because he's done, uh, Songs of Phrase where he, uh, cuts up, um, uh, bits and pieces from, uh, uh records. You have to guess the title or the artist. And, uh, makes a well-known phrase, i.e. a phrase that we've said a lot. And, uh, the challenge is that me and Steve have got to try and work out what it is as well before we tell- we will tell you the phrase, but let me just see if I can guess. Play it. Right, I know what that is. I didn't hear it. Can you play it once right. more for me? <laughs> I know what that is. Right, it's why don't they play the game of swing ball? Because that's what he said when he turned on and saw people in wheelchairs playing tennis. <laughs> and his point was. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me <laughs> oh dear. That is so naughty. This show's been a bit naughty, I think. I don't know what's happened to us. I think it's, it's like, um, sort of end of term sort of madness. But yeah. I think we've got to calm down here. We've been a bit naughty there. We've we said, you know, bloke with two dicks. We said Chinese people don't talk properly, which is a little bit offensive. Yeah. You know what I mean, Carl? Well, they don't know. Right, okay, let's leave it now. Okay, stop there, Carl. Carl does not necessarily reflect the opinions of XFM or any yeah. other human being. If you think that me and Steve have been offensive, we are strongly behind the guise of irony, satire, and ignorance. Carl only has ignorance yeah. and yeah. hate. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, 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 but as long as you say something good about someone, you can also say something bad about them. <laughs> How does that work? Go on, and give us an example. Well, Chinese. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Great people, right? Good. That's really? the Re the women, bit. women, really good looking as as, as younger people. No! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm ju I'm just saying. As long as you, you know what I mean. There's good and bad and everything. For every well, what are the old ones like? They, they they don't age well. Oh! What no, do you mean? <gasps> the fellow in Karate Kid, the teacher, was only about thirty six. <laughs> we started this. We started this. Oh, oh. fact. Uh, so, songs of phrase, <laughs> email in, ricky.gervais at xmn.co.uk, right? I mean, I have to say, Carl, it's very tricky this week. You've got some very obscure sounding songs there. Yeah, just all we want is the artists. Oh, right? I think just the song, Carl, mate. I no, think that's, actually, that's hard. hard. I no, think no, that's, that's hard. hard. Yeah, the artists. Uh, just the <laughs> artists, then. Okay, so these are the prizes this week. Well, let's, got... let's play it again so they can hear it. Try okay. and work out all the different artists. Yeah, why don't they play the game of, the swing, game of swing ball? Right? Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Right. 
tricky. <laughs> it is tricky. That is tricky. That is good. But there's some great prizes, um, <laughs> including Carl, I can't help but notice, torn from the current, well, I think today's issue of the Daily Mirror. What is giving away a it's, giveaway? It's a free CD from the Daily Mirror, which you can buy it, you spend 30p on the Mirror, you can get this anyway. <laughs> but it's still in the piece of plastic that it came in, I love it's that. It's ripped. Anyway, there are some other treats. <laughs> oh, well. you'll be loving getting that through the, uh, <laughs> the door. So there's a, uh, the jingly jangly sound of summer. Good vibes, a two CD set featuring music from Crowded House, R.E.M., Simon and Garfunkel and the Beach Boys. I'll tell you what, I, I've got the th thought of another game. We can put Carl's th into theory, right? I can, th I can can tell him a sort of like a a, a person or um, you know a, a people or a place, right, uh, or a, a profession, and he's got to come up with a good and bad. <laughs> a good and bad thing. This, this, it, it is dicing with death. Yeah. Are we ready to do this? Well, listen. If we're quitting in the next couple of weeks, then who cares? Okay. Um, good and bad. Right. Well, hang on. Whoa, let me just. Tell we're on the prizes here. All right. Okay. So now fifty-five. I know okay. there's a lot of XFM listeners who are going to be looking forward to the likes of S Club Eight and the Fast Food Rockers. They're all on there. <laughs> I can't wait. What is their second single going to be about? <laughs> the Smashing Pumpkins. This is quite a good little compilation of um, sort of B sides and live performances and stuff like that, which is uh, which is not bad. The best summer holiday album in the world ever. I think we've given that away in the past. All sorts of stuff on there. Plus the director's cut of True Romance on DVD. The uh, Tarantino scripted. Oh, it's a great film. Tony Scott directed oh, movie. Oh. So there's some quite good prices. Just play it once more. So email in Ricky Dot Why don't the they play the game of swing ball? Just just the artist, yeah. That's all we're after. Yeah. Um, right. Uh, uh. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. <laughs> very tricky. Brilliant. Very, very that is brilliant. Alright. Put a song on now. What? Let's put a song on. Bit of uh Farrell Farrell Williams. Yes. Good and bad, good and bad. Um old people. Darkness, I believe in a thing called love, on XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Pilkington. Carl set the ball rolling with, um, songs of phrase, why don't they play swing ball, referring of course to, uh, people in, uh, wheelchairs who play tennis, cause he was disappointed they weren't getting around the court quickly enough, so why didn't they play swing ball? Yeah. Brilliant. <laughs> Someone just emailed in saying because, if they hit it to the top, they wouldn't be able to reach it to unravel it. Exactly. Which is a good point. Yeah. But I mean, nonetheless, good and bad in people in wheelchairs? Do you want to do that? Good and bad. Good and bad things about people in wheelchairs. Um, good and bad. Yeah. Um, I suppose, I don't know really, they, they take up less room in cinemas, they've got their own seat. <laughs> um. Good. That's good, is it? That's that's a good thing. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, well done. Well done. That was bad. Uh, don't know, I'll have to think about it. Okay. But uh well, let's leave that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> you started it. <laughs> the hate list. Can I just return your minds to the hate list? <laughs> I said on the hour that we would give you basically the top five. Now we have to stress, this is the top five most hated people that you, the XFM listeners, have suggested to us. We have not massaged these, no. we have not made these up, these are coming from you. Last week we began it, this week you've continued to email. So this is the list. We do not endorse this list. Some of them we may agree with, some of them maybe not, but it's the list that you have come up with. We are merely the messengers. I tell you it was coming through recently. Cameron, but he didn't make the top five. I'm afraid he was just a late- Williams entry. dropped out of the top five. Robbie Williams surprisingly dropped out of the top five. Yeah. Uh, so let me tell you now, in no particular order, this is the top five that XFM you're voting for. Listen well, I say XFM listeners, people who listen to this show. I don't- I mean, XFM listeners aren't typical radio listeners, and I think our listeners aren't typical XFM listeners. Right. So, I don't know what this poll- uh, what it's worth. What no. any poll's worth, but I mean, this one is probably worth very little. I think in a way it's sort of worth less. <laughs> yeah, go on, who's the top five in uh, no so particular we, order? We want you, the listener, to then just vote, uh, email in with the one name that you, uh, that you hate the most, and then from this list, out we can, of this we can, list, we can yeah. figure out the number one. Okay. But this is in no particular order. Chris Tarrant. Yeah. A surprising entrant. Davina McCall. Well, I don't think- I don't think he's that surprising. Well, anyway, I mean, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna editorialize. No, no, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm saying I imagine XFM listeners pretty much despise someone like Chris Tarrant. Okay, well anyway, Chris Tarrant's on there, Davina McCall, yeah. Patrick Kilty, right. Graham Norton, right. and Chris Moyles. Now okay. I'm not gonna say anything, 
Those are the names that you have drawn up. There are lots of others that didn't make the top five. Richard Madeley was on there, Michael Flatley, Vorderman, bizarre. I Michael was Flatley's on there. a weird one. Very strange. Um, so Jamie Oliver, a lot of votes for him, but he's not made the top five. So those are the top five. Just email in with the number one yeah. that you hate. And another, we're talking about someone another that- Another pointless inane poll. Exactly. And this, and this time we did it. Oh, Moyles, dear. Norton, Kilty, McCall, Tarrant. It's your choice. Who would you have Ricky out of who, who would you have in your list, Carl? You're allowed to talk because you, people know your opinions don't matter. So, what? I, I honestly don't really hate anyone. That's, that's that nice. Much. I'm, I'm not that fussed, you know what I mean? We're not talking like too much him. about hate, we're talking about someone that- Yeah, we don't mean somebody... hate. You can't hate any of these people. No, All I've done was- it was pop, t pop on telly. But I think it's people who- uh, as one, um, uh, listener, um, she put it, she sort of- I think she had some of those, and she said, you know, I don't hate them. These are the people that if they pop on my telly, I have to turn over. You know yeah. what I mean? It's, it's not- you don't hate them, you- you, you yeah, know- sometimes it's not their fault, it's like Davina, right? I used to quite fancy her. And now, cos she's always on the telly, it's like, oh, I can't be dealing with her now. Sure. Right. But she's still- she's still the same presenter, it's yeah. just that I'm- I'm bored with it. Sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, I'm not- I'm not getting involved in it. Okay. Do you know okay. what I mean? Don't want to offend anyone. Let me just give the email address. But Ricky, I mean- uh, Let me just give the email address, I just said it, so look to walk over Okay, it. I'm gonna do Carl's top thing. Ro Ricky Gervais at xfm.co.uk. That's also the email address for your answers to this week's Songs of Phrase. Play it again, Carl, if you would. Go on. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Play the game of swing. <laughs> we just want the artists, is that right? Yeah, that will do. I've, I've got- I've got two that you- you- you don't like. Not- not, not that you hate them, but that you sort of like, don't agree with them. Um, would Liverpudlians be in your list? Probably. What about, um, gay fellas in toilets looking at you? Um, well, I think they've sorted that out, so... <laughs> <laughs> One of the prizes this week in Carl's goodie bag features this song. Play it, Carl. Oh. The Monkeys. Pleasant oh, Valley Sunday. Oh, God. <laughs> Monkeys, Pleasant Valley Sunday, brilliant. XFM 104.9, Carl Pilkington. This show is monkey mentioned. heavy, it isn't is it? Indeed. It is monkey heavy. Carl, if you were president, would you sort of make a compulsory to maybe have a little, little monkey? Everyone has a little monkey of their own. Little chimps out and out, old age pensioners. It's not a bad little, uh... It's funny, you know, cos there was, um, <laughs> a, s a story the other day, uh, when I was looking for monkey news. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. there's a story about a couple who, who couldn't have any kids, right? There's something wrong with them, but they really wanted a kid. And they got some, uh, dodgy email address where they could buy a baby online, oh, right? Yeah. It was someone who would have a kid and you could buy it for three grand or something, right? Yeah. So anyway, they got one, they got picked and they're like, brilliant, there's the money. Got the baby and everything, they were loving it. Um, you know, playing with it and stuff. As it got older- Feeding it. <laughs> it got airier. <laughs> oh, shut the f- Oh, God! Turned out it had been sold a chimp. <laughs> you- you maniac. You stupid mank twat. How Don't earth? talk shit. That is as if- that, <laughs> uh, uh, What? Didn't know it oh, don't <laughs> talk- Are you- are you mental? <laughs> you stupid- that didn't make it into monkey news. I know, yeah. Uh, they- well, uh, it's a bit sad though, we don't like to bring- They bring bought- the feature down. Yeah. But and anyway. how long was this into- It got hairier! They're born hairy! <laughs> no, they they're not born like humans then develop hair! Cos they go, hold on, we better ch we better get the chimp stuff kicking in now, cos we're in the jungle! School photograph, do I like, hang on a minute. <laughs> it looks a bit weird. Oh, you are just the- mad, the, the rubbish. Mad, innit? it? Mad, innit? it? <laughs> mad, innit? it? Imagine, oh God! But Just anyway. imagine if he was in charge. We did put him in charge of the country. Just, terrifying. Wouldn't it be amazing? Let him run the country just for a week. Or, or the mayor. What would you do if you were the uh, the president or the I Lord Mayor of London or the prime, prime minister? Oh, Carl. I, I wouldn't know. do it. Like he's going to be off on it. It's a hypothetical question, Carl. No, but Su Suzanne was uh, all right. Me, me misses. If you're a new listener, you keep her. Sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, help her. She was she was watching the news, trying to follow some heavy stuff. And I'm like, oh, the weather. What? You know what I, mean? <laughs> I just was like bored, and I was reading about that mouse that had an ear on its back. And stuff like that. <laughs> oh, so she said, "Well, you take notice of this. Should be, you know, you know what Ricky and Steve are like. They, you know, they try to teach you stuff, and you don't even want to learn." Mm. 
So to try and get She's me interested in it, <laughs> she was like saying, what would you do if you're president and stuff? Yeah. And I, I can't be doing with any of it. It's what did you come up with? You must what have been- What would What would you- What did you come up with? Did you come up with anything? I had a little, um, the design of it, right? I yeah. said I'd, 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 I'd have like red and blue, <laughs> to sort of, do you know what I mean? Both sort of major sides into one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well that's broken the back of it. That's- that's a pretty good manifesto so far. Uh, um, anything else? What's on the second page? I had like, uh, KP looks after me. <laughs> that would be the badges, would it? Yeah. That's um, good. I'm a KP nut. Yep. <laughs> um, KP looks after me. Yeah, brilliant. That's about as far as I went with it. <laughs> <laughs> What would you do? What about, you know, policies, transport, um, crime, uh, uh, you know, just, just law and order, um. Yeah, how would you, what would you do, how would you deal with crime? What would your initial approach be? Would you introduce guns? Should police carry guns? Nah. No. Yeah. Um, would I have to worry about that? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, no, good point. Minister. Good point. No, what um, I'm saying is that, I mean, Tony Blair isn't sorting everything out, is he? No, but he has a say in most things. Does he? <laughs> <laughs> well, go on then. What, what are the problems at the moment? I need sorting out. Well, generally, how would you? How would? What's the best way to combat? Would you? Uh, would you bolster up the prison system? Would you uh, introduce more community service? Would, would you make? Would you make? Would you, make, would, would you go harsher for say? For say, um, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, drugs. Would you go harsher or? Or less harsh. There's there's pros and cons of both, isn't it? Because of course you ca you can't see to condone it, but some people, you know, you don't want to go through the court system and cost taxpayers thousands of pounds of money for someone. I don't know the difference between smoking a spliff and dealing crack. Mm. Do you know what I mean? You have to all these things. Have, to, have I lost you? Yeah, I'd, I'd just think about it for a bit. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> you think about it for a bit. <laughs> uh, yeah. yeah. Probably ask Suzanne. <laughs> 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 this is amazing. Get her help on it. Yeah. Can now, we what about the foreign situation? Would you uh, would you have supported Bush in his war on, against, on terrorism? Um, You're aware um, of this war that we had recently? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. I mean, if I was new, though, couldn't I just say, look, new slate, do you know what I mean? Let's start again. Yeah, right. of course you can. I'm in charge now, let's, you know, let's see if we can sort this out. What would you do then? Then see what happens. <laughs> just leave Brilliant. It. Just leave Suck it. it and see. Brilliant. Brilliant. This, yeah, this is excellent. Now so this is uh, this is not really your jurisdiction. This is not really your area. But you, I imagine you'd have some powerful friends. You might on, have a say go on, in it. Go on. Yeah. Would you? Uh, what would you do about uh, single sex marriages? Same sex marriages. See, this you... has got ca this Cameron. I thought Cameron had blown it on Big Brother because they said. Um, you know, what, what do you think about, um, uh, gay fellas getting married? And he went, I oh, know, in the Bible it says, you know, a man and a woman. And I thought, oh, he's put off a lot of, yeah. I don't really think many Christians tune into Big Brother, but we know the gays love it. Yeah. They love Big Brother, don't they, the gays? Yeah, so interesting. But, uh, so, uh, what, would you know, you, what would your take be on that, same-sex marriages? Um, and then what, having a kid? Well, just let's start off with, you well, know. that's all right, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Just let them get on with it. It's sure. not affecting anyone else. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Right. But it starts getting tricky. Right. When you get a kid. Okay. Go on. Why? Well, it's it's just tricky, innit? Do you know what I mean? Well, yeah, you could be right. I'm not giving any. I mean, you know, uh, we're not. There's no right or wrong it's answer. It's all right if you were in like if you lived in the jungle, right, with no one else. Yeah. Right. And you just had these two fellas, right, yeah. looking after you, but because you got no one else looking in on that, saying, "Oh, you're a bit weird, aren't you?" Do you know what I mean? Well, right. as soon as you come so to- So is it- what- what- why the- why have they got married? Do you think that gay people turn to a bloke because they couldn't get a woman? Um, If it, if you live- if, if there's two fellas go away and they're in the jungle, they go, we're definitely not gonna find a woman here, we might as well bum. That's not how homosexuality starts. People don't- It makes don't, you wonder if No, no, it does make you wonder. Gays don't go, well, I'll tell you what, I haven't seen a woman I fancy yet, I'll try a bit of knob. <laughs> no, 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 but what I'm saying is, right? If you're brought up in like a little jungle, right? Yeah. Uh, you How are you brought up? Someone just puts you there. Right? <laughs> I don't Let know what. Explain. I don't I know can't what be this bothered, is. Steve, I can't be bothered. Go on, the country. I'm, I'm fascinated. <laughs> Like, I'm too much trouble for you! KP <laughs> takes care of me. Right, yeah, fair yeah, enough. What okay. I'm saying is, right, if you're brought up in a jungle. Yeah. Right. Right. Bro what own. do you mean brought up? Just let him finish. What does he mean brought, brought up, though? Like Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to tell me what you mean by brought up. Just Wolves! Just, chimps! 
What? Right, well there's a good example of what I'm saying to you. Right. Right, what I'm saying is, there's a fella, right, he's brought up in the jungle. Shut up, just let him finish. Let him finish! There's no women about, he doesn't know about women, he doesn't understand what women are. Right. Right? But another fella walks in, in the scene. Yeah. And he gets pally with him. <laughs> what does he talk about? Then they've both got needs. <laughs> this scenario <laughs> is ridiculous. What How I'm... has he lived? Or, or do you know what's his reference I points? I can't be bothered with this. Honestly, Saturday should be, you know, day off and that, not worrying me <laughs> about <laughs> problems. God! Oh! Oh! God! Oh. KP takes care of me. Oh, dear. Elbow. Fallen Angel on XFM 104.9. So, uh, there we go. Carl is president. He's still, he's still confused, aren't you, Carl? Just a little bit. Just a little bit sort of amazed. Yeah. By the body. Yeah. You're just in awe the, of it, aren't you? Just the way- I'm amazed how two people can buy a baby on the internet for £3,000 and not realise it's a chimp till it goes to school. No, 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 but seriously, what we were, you know, talking about there during Elbow and Fallen Angel, <laughs> uh, we were talking about that I think- Yeah. If you're locked up, well not locked up in a room, you've got a normal life except there's no women in it. Yeah. Right? But how would that happen? What would this point of reference be? How would you bring right, up the person minute, can I just and totally- Go on. How can infinite monkeys and a typewriter- Right, again, I've told you before, right, that is not- you don't actually have to test that model. It's- it's, um, basically a model for the- th that explains the nature of infinity. Okay? Yeah, but... I've told you before, it- mm. it works because of the definition of infinity. There's no- there's nowhere in the world you'll ever be able to get an infinite amount of monkeys and typewriters to com- But anyway, all I'm saying yeah. is, I think if- if you don't know about women, would you crave for a woman, even well, though you, you don't you, know you, 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 When you hit sort of puberty, your hormones will kick in and you'd- you'd start getting urges. But for what? If you don't know about it? You don't have to know about it. You don't- when- if you grew up and you started feeling hunger, you wouldn't go and wonder what that is. You'd go, get me a sandwich, I'm starving. It's different though, it's different. But I'm not, um, but, but we're oh, not it's saying it's, uh, it's all hardwired or people are, ch can't change their, their natural state. We do it all the time. We fight nature all the time with conditioning. That is weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, right, well that's I, that I, one. I'll tick that. Was... It's weird, isn't it? No, the body is. There was something, yeah. did, you, did you read that thing the other week about, um, Man with two penises? <laughs> no, 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 we don't need that. We don't need uh, that. lawyer who got in office realised he was actually an orangutan <laughs> and they just shaved him, put a suit on him, from Hugo Boss. And the funny thing is, he won the case and the judge said, well, <laughs> don't send him back to d d jungle, let him set off on his own, bodge it, wibble and podge. <laughs> You'd make the best judge in the world. No, there was a fella- Here's a banana. There was a fella who, um, was in a coma for twenty years. Hmm. Just, they, they kept, like, taking him t through, like, the normal day, they take him to Alton Towers and stuff. <laughs> Doesn't know any about anything about it, just kept going through the motions. Um, don't know if they kept charging him. Um, kept putting him through all that. He eventually came out of it. Twenty years. And went, stop taking me to Alton Towers, <laughs> it's shit! <laughs> I, j I just thought, imagine and how much post making, they eh? How much post. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you gosh. read about that guy in the paper, Carl? He, um, <clears throat> sorry, on the internet, uh, <laughs> he, he in about I think it was about 1984, 85. He had a terrible car accident. But this went, must be it. He this went into a coma. This is must be what he's talking about. Well, they didn't take him to Alton. Of course Harry. they didn't. But you've got to try and decipher the truth from the conjecture, from the thing that he. he I mean, don't forget, Carl says uh, realizes that he's had a dream. He talks to Suzanne. He goes, "That was good, wasn't it? Last night we were in the plane." She goes, "No, that's a dream." He goes, "Oh yeah, where's my car for that?" <laughs> you've got. To, you know, what I mean, I can now decipher what he's actually seen, what he's read. Well, go on. What? What? What did you? Well, I'm assuming it's the same guy. <laughs> it, it is the same guy. In, uh, it was a guy in uh, some small American town, yeah. and he'd had a car crash, and he'd gone into a coma, and his uh, wife had uh, left him. She'd gone on with her life because he'd been in a coma since then. And he had just woken up recently. Marriage wasn't working. <laughs> Marriage wasn't working. Uh, he just wasn't paying enough attention. <laughs> uh, he actually had, she was pregnant at the time, and so now his daughter, his, his daughter is basically the same age as he was when he went into the coma. And, um, 
He's just started coming around, he's just started making jokes. He says, they said, uh, how do you feel? He said horny, which I thought was quite witty for a man who'd been in a coma for, uh, for many years. Um, but anyway, yeah, so he's slowly trying to rebuild, uh, what life he can, he can. That's what do you make of that though? Because the thing is that he's missed, imagine what he's missed, Carl. Imagine the music that he's missed, the Live TV Aid. programs. Miss Live news. Aid. <laughs> Live Aid. He's missed, he missed uh, uh, the Phil Spice Collins Mills. playing in two continents in one day. <laughs> um, <laughs> which, oh, frankly, I'd be devastated if I discovered missed, that. Miss Bross. Yeah. Yeah, so he doesn't, so he put on ripped jeans and they go, passe. They just have to send him a series of those, uh, <laughs> I love 1986 exactly. programs with Kate Thornton filling him in on what he's doing. Exactly. Missed. Peter Kay reminding him of Space Hoppers. Yeah, he remembers Richard those. Talking rubbish. Yeah. So, so, um. Extraordinary though, isn't it, Carl, to think? Mm. No, obviously. So, not. Are, are he aged much? Because he hadn't had any problems or anything, no worries. Well, he, he, probably wouldn't, he probably wouldn't have, physiologically, he probably wouldn't have the wear and tear of a 43 year old oh. man. Because he wouldn't have had sun, he wouldn't have had sort of nicotine, beer, um... Unless they were just feeding that to him. <laughs> yeah, anyway, still... Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, um... You so feel groggy though, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, you might feel a bit groggy, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's not, he's not fully back to normal, I mean, there's no, some kind of residual brain damage. Yeah. But nevertheless, he can form sentences, he's got very, he's got no real memory, so he can't remember a lot of things. It was just when I saw... Carl, have you been elected? <laughs> 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 So are we, uh, <laughs> g giving the answers out for what's your name? <laughs> oh, later, later. Play a tune. I'm yeah. bored. <laughs> Best Snoop Dogg? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Snoop Doggy Dog from 1993. And um, what's my name? Long time ago. Long time <laughs> it ago. was indeed. Ten years ago. XFM 104.9, Ricky Gervais, Steve Merchant, Carl Wilkington. Songs of Phrase. We've had very, very few entries. I really think people aren't interested. They really have just given up. I mean, seriously, Carl, that's the one thing. That's the one thing you contributed to this show, Carl. And it's it's the the weak link. It's I the think link. in the chain, the missing link. Oh, do you reckon there is one, Carl? Do you reckon they'll ever find the missing link? Wandering around Manchester. Wait a minute, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> um, the stats then, let's have the answers if we can. Right, it was, uh, well, specials. Let's play it once more. Alright. Tell me why, tell me why, tell me why. Specials. Yep. Jermaine Jackson. Play the game of swing. Uh, right, it was, uh, play the game of love. Uh, I think that was Wayne Fontana and the Mindbenders. Right, you right. think, but you're not sure. Uh, Louis Armstrong was the, uh, don't mean a thing if it ain't got that swing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Queen, don't stop me now. We're having a good time. And that we're having a ball. We're having a ball. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, so. considering you yourself weren't entirely clear, I think it's only fair to give it to Paul Brown, who got some of the answers right. Mm -hmm. PB, um, you are getting those prizes. Well, they are PB. on their way They're to you now. Their way to you. Okay, the stats are in for the XFM listener hate list. Um, some interesting results. Go on then. Reverse order. Okay, in fifth place. In fifth place. Interesting. Davina McCall. Yeah. I think that's just, I think that's, uh, is a reflection of her being on telly all the time and yeah. that running out of stuff and being a bit over the top and, mm. yeah. Fourth position. Yeah. Christopher Tarrant. Okay. Well, that, I mean, that's, yeah, I wouldn't have thought he's the favourite There is role a model joint of, go on. second place. Go on. Graham Norton. Yeah. He's alongside, in second place, Patrick Kilty, which means Chris Moyles is the winner with an overwhelming vote. And I swear to God, I have not done anything to those stats. Yeah. That is exactly as they've come in off well, the email. We do not give our opinions on this. Do that was the XFM that. listeners, but, uh, well done. <laughs> Thumbs up, you all win a We're prize. We're gonna play you some nice records because of that, aren't we? <laughs> I reckon they sort of prefer some ads. Ah, <laughs> uh, <that's laughs> Yeah. Feeder, forget about tomorrow, on XFM 104.9. When I was at um, university, my best mate was a bloke called uh, Wally, and he was doing um, psychology, and I was doing philosophy, and um, we both got into this thing, a uh, theory called determinism, which is about the uh, uh, state of the mind, and it's a, a materialistic view that um, everything is part of the causal web, and everything has a, uh, um, a reaction for something that happened before it, and, uh, um, uh, by the way, Carl, do not confuse this with fatalism. <laughs> Determinism is not predictive. It's just that if a brain state happens again, then uh, anyway, the famous Everyone one is knows. 
Uh, yeah, the famous one is, um, if, you know, a butterfly hadn't shaken its wings, Queen Victoria wouldn't have sneezed, everything's yeah. indiscriminately linked, right? And we're thinking that, right? And we're thinking, what if, um, you changed one word in, like, classic songs, or one note in Beethoven Symphony? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. It how it just wouldn't work. Well, I've always thought that, uh, um, Come on, baby, light my fire. Yeah. Not as good. That sounds brilliant. Yeah. Enigmatic, interesting. Not so good. More pedestrian if it was, Come on, baby, light a fire. <laughs> yeah! Just, <laughs> yeah, just one, just one thing wrong. Yeah. That would be great. Just sitting there, Paul McCartney comes to John and he goes, Alright, John, <laughs> written a song. He goes, Well, she was just 17, well, you know what I mean? The way she looked was way beyond compare. I wouldn't dance with another. <laughs> I'll stop you there. Well, go on. I'll stop you there. What's the matter? Something not quite right with that. I love no? the song. It's great. Yeah. Just once more. For well, us. listen, don't be too harsh. I mean, because we write our own songs. No, sure, 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 we can sure, still yeah. put both our John, names to it. I think you're a great talent. I think you're a great well, talent. Well, I'm listen, just saying. listen, listen, you hippie. Right? <laughs> Well, um, not yet. Well, not yet, but sure. I mean, there's a Japanese bird outside looking don't in. Don't fancy, I'm not interested. No, no, well, listen, well. Well, I'll never right. change my view. <laughs> right, now, listen, right? I wouldn't dance with another. Is that bit? Is it that bit you don't like? Is it the. I just it's like just, the. Could you try and. Is there a different well, okay. pitch you could go on? I wouldn't dance with another. So again, you don't like the. Is I'm it the just noise? not sure the girls are going to go crazy no. for it when we do that just think, just, just think of- j Is there anything else you've got? I <laughs> love the idea of just changing one <laughs> yeah, yeah. lyric. <laughs> Radiohead. Well, that was their classic song. Really? Creep. You can't really change that, can you? Burke. What if yeah. they call it <laughs> yeah, Creep? Yeah. I'm a Burke. <laughs> I'm a twat. I'm a knob. But don't worry about determinism, um, Carl. Just Please. Cause just because it says we don't have a, a free will as such. You know, it's more an illusion. It's not the whether we whether we choose our choices, whether we can choose, you know, uh to choose our he choices. He knows all this. But don't but don't as I say, do not confuse it with fatalism. It is non predictive and does not change anything. I mean the moral upshots are frightening because if we have no free will then are we culpable for our actions? But again it changes something because you've got to take people out of society that are harm. Carl you know. has often said that. You alright, Carl? Am I still a president? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm just just asking him that. Yeah, what would you do? What do you do about determinism? Change it. I'd have a day off. <laughs> if you were president of America, would you ban guns? It's in the Constitution. Everyone's allowed to have them. Mm. I don't no. know. I don't know. I'd have to think about it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I just love that. Imagine all your your different aides and the Secretary of State and generals coming to you, and uh, they come out and they go, "What did he say?" He goes, "He said he's going to think about it again." Did he say that again? Did he? Yeah. What was he doing? He was on Alan Over looking at monkey news. <laughs> Apparently, uh, a chimp stole a car and drove to France. Ah, uh, no, monkey news. You're talking. Mo I'll tell you what. Should we have a great song then, monkey news? It'll be an absolute treat. What about a little bit of David Bowie, sorrow? Oh. Yeah. Didn't write this one, but I mean, he sings it bloody well. <laughs> David Bowie, Sorrow, on XFM 104.9. Nearly there, but you know, we're working our way up to the grand finale. The bit where Carl spouts absolute nonsense from a dodgy source on the internet about a monkey who did something impossible. Let's cue up the jingle. Hang on. Alright. Perfect. Oh, chimpanzee that monkey news! <laughs> right. Uh, let's have a look. This one's from, uh, <sighs> from some woman, right? Yeah. And she's, um, she was taking part in the London to Brighton bike ride. Right. Mm. Lovely day, weather's good and everything. What year? She's, uh, just a couple, a couple of months ago. Um, she's done all the training, right? Done all the training and stuff. Mm. Uh, got a brand new bike for it, got a little puncher outfit and stuff, all set for the day, right? It's a nice day, she sets off, they all start pedalling and that on the way to Brighton, yeah. right? So she knows the route and that, got her little headphones on, cycling along. Uh, suddenly. Right, okay, I'm stopping now. Um, if 
uh, a cyclist overtakes her, <laughs> and it's going really fast, and it's sort of hunched over, but it's got, like, lots of cycling gear on and a helmet and goggles, and they can't tell what it is, but they just know it's, a, like, a, uh, little hairy, um, fella, um, who hasn't bothered shaving his legs, which is weird, isn't it? Because cyclists usually shave their legs, and this bloke had really hairy legs. But, um, and it won. They gave it the medal. It won three years running. They gave it the key to the city. Uh, it had its own game show, and then well, someone said, hold on, though, this fella's sort of hunched over, and he's only three foot five, and his arms are longer than his body. Uh, it's a chimp! If it goes anywhere near that, we're never doing it again. Mormon can use next week. <laughs> <laughs> she's cycling so along. So anyway, she's cycling along, right? And uh this tricycle <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't predict that. <laughs> There's oh. always one element you can never anticipate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Got a kiddie's tricycle with a little kid on it, little hairy kid with a helmet. Okay, just <laughs> go on then. Well the tricycle comes Whizzing past, past, yeah. Thing. Strong legs, didn't they, Chimps? So she's thinking that's but didn't get a chance to see the thing. Oh yeah, couldn't quite see the cyclist! <laughs> you oh god! You bald mank git. Go what? on. Yeah, research scientist Carl Pilkington. <laughs> so, so anyway, she gets to the end line, right? Yeah. And um they got talking, that's it was a nice day, nice race and all that. <laughs> so did you see uh, a little, little thing on a tricycle. Thing? Well, no, no, what, what, a person, surely, just a human. Did you see that, no, did you see that bloke on the tricycle? So anyway, oh, turns tricycle. out- tricycle? Yeah! But so what did you say, thing? Well, no, it's, well, it's no, no suspicious. I mean, <laughs> what did you say, did you see that fellow on a tricycle? <laughs> anyway, so it turns out- Go on. It was a chimp. You're joking! <laughs> right? Well, Christ almighty, there you go. <laughs> Unbelievable, and it was a chimp all along. So anyway, right, so the woman's like, um... We're never doing this again. Checking out the news, right? There's n there's nothing on it, she checks out XFM Monkey News. Right, okay, I'll I stop you there again. Right? <laughs> if it turns out she doesn't the news, right, and the circus goes, we're looking for our <laughs> chimp that used to ride this tricycle, and it escaped with police chasing no, 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 it. No, no, no. So she listened to XFM, see if I'd picked up on the story. Yeah, sure. She didn't- I didn't have it and stuff. Um, so she got in touch with the organisers of the London to Brighton bike ride, said, look, saw a little airy fella. Why did she care? Because she wanted to know, she thought it was a bit odd. Well, Turns out it was a chimp, they weren't happy about it. Of course not. Because now the owner of the chimp wants to enter it into the Tour de France. In, uh, oh, in 2005. <laughs> now, a couple of questions. I, I trust you'll be able to answer these. Oh, God! How, Steve, help me out. How did it get hold of the tricycle? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> don't know. Okay, no, that's fine. That's, that's, that's not an important know. point. Like, that's important. How What's the matter with you, Steve? He doesn't know that. How did it know <laughs> to. Uh, well, firstly, how did it know which way to cycle, but more importantly, how did it know there was a major bike ride on Follow the Just following the crowd, no, Steve. No, What's the matter with you? The owner of it had trained it and so <laughs> far. <laughs> no, he hadn't! It had already done the run beforehand, before the big day. No, it hadn't. Um, uh, like I say, it wants to do the Tour de France in 2005. No, it doesn't. Um, but there's something about animal rights. If, if they don't let it enter, you, they can kick up a bit of a fuss. <laughs> Is that it's cruel to make a tube ride a bicycle? Not, Not that it's to. prejudice that it go, is it because I is hairy? You idiot! Right. So. Wow, that is the worst, that is the worst <laughs> one yet. Absolute twaddle. Absolute rubbish, Carl. Have you got a tricycle? <laughs> Unbelievable. 